Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, keeping track of your forecast into the rest of the week. And things are looking a little stormy out there as we go into the early part of next weekend. And could be pretty soggy out there as well. We'll be expecting the possibility of some pretty heavy rainfall coming our direction into the next couple of days. And could also be the possibility of some stronger weather as we get into around week's end. Download our weather app and keep track of what's going on with the weather out there. And of course, stay tuned for more with the weather experts throughout the course of the next couple of days. As this situation continues to change and adapt, we'll be seeing again the possibility the stronger weather coming our direction by about the middle to end of this next week and we'll talk more about what the timing of that's going to be coming up here in just a little bit. Welcome to Weather Overtime. If you've never been here before, again, this is our opportunity to give you, the viewer, an idea, idea as to what's going on with what's happening with the forecast out there. And as of right now, again, a pretty quiet Sunday evening in store for the area, so not seeing any major problems. If you can't stick around for the whole show, we usually go about 15, 20 minutes here talking about weather in the Mid-South. You can catch our forecast at wreg.com slash weather. Easily found, again, that would just scroll down beneath the forecast for all kinds of great weather information. Or you can catch the forecast here in the blue bar at the bottom of your screen and keeping you updated on that. Drop your location, and if you got any weather reports out there, temperature, wind speed, cloud cover, wherever you are, uh, let us know what's going on in your neck of the woods in the comments section, and we'll read off some of those weather reports as we go into the rest of the evening. Going to be a chilly start to the morning. Kids at the bus stop will be seeing temperatures back into the mid to upper 30s in the Shelby County Memphis metro area north of I-40. Could be looking at temperatures even colder than this, so maybe some more frost out across much of the area. Again, should be seeing the possibility of some nicer weather out there throughout the rest of the day. The kids will not need any rain protection into tomorrow, and temperatures just a bit above normal back into about the lower to mid 50s or so and the clouds will be on the increase uh, into and around the area. Rochea Hunt, thank you so much for the weather today. I'm not in charge of the, that's I appreciate the sentiment. I'm not in charge of the weather. I just go to church and pray a lot and that's how the way everything kind of turns out. Uh, so thank you very much for that. Welcome to everybody else tuning in. Doris Allen from Faulkner, Mississippi. Ashlyn, Mississippi. Peggy Shelby, thank you very much for checking in. Millington, Robert Brown, thanks for stopping by. And everybody else who's checking in from across the area for right now. Rest of the forecast again through the afternoon and evening from Sunday, looking at some good conditions out there for right now. No problems with anything involving travel in the next couple of hours for the Memphis metro area on road, by rail, or by air. Memphis International not showing any major problems out there when it comes to travel across much of the area. So that green airplane icon denoting delays of 15 minutes or less and looking good across the rest of the area. Where it comes to, again, travel tonight, dry conditions for the most part. East Coast clearing out one storm, a new storm coming in from the West Coast, but right now no delays showing up across the continental U.S., so very quiet conditions out there for right now. And hopefully should be staying that way into the week, but Todd Demers will have more on your forecast coming up bright and early uh, tomorrow morning. We'll keep you updated on all that travel conditions out there for right now. Debbie Moore Stone, possibility of strong storms on Friday. It's possible. We'll talk more about the the potential of that coming up here in just a little bit, so stay tuned for more on that. Mississippi River looking back toward West Memphis, Arkansas, and over the river for right now, which is on its way upwards into the next couple of days. We're going to be seeing, again, the coming close to around what is called action stage as the river begins to back up its tributaries, and we start to see some more blockage of pathways out there, even roadways that are close to the river's water. So over the next few days, if you're planning on traveling across Big River Crossing for some of those trails in extreme eastern Arkansas or any place along the river in West Tennessee or down into Mississippi, you might see some road or path closures out there as we see the river continue to rise. Should be cresting again just above action stage. That's 28 feet at about 29.2 by about Thursday. Now that assumes no more water coming down the Mississippi River to cause things to grow. So that crest should happen if we don't get any more rainfall north of us upstream. And that's going to be very important for right now because up and down the Mississippi Valley, we've got again numerous flood watches and also advisories taking place at this time from down around Tunica 
where we're seeing, again, advisories taking place here down around Tunica Cutoff. Also, again, for the Mississippi River around Shelby County and back into around the area of Carothersville, Missouri. Got some flood potential going on there, which could be a bit of a problem. Seeing even more of a situation shaping up uh, for the area around Dyersburg, back to the west of there and into the Mississippi River, close to around Carothersville, uh, Rising River, which is sending a lot of other problems out there. So a flood warning is in effect for this particular location. Also in effect for the area into and around the Tennessee River back towards Savannah. Stay tuned to News Channel 3 online. We'll keep you advised on all of that coming up over the next couple of days. Right now we're looking again at clean sweeps on Storm Tracker 3S radar. Again, going to be seeing the possibility of more rainfall coming up later, but not much of anything else happening uh, at this point in time. Faustin Henderson, why is it so warm? You thought this was winter. Well, you thought right about winter. We are in the winter season, but these southerly winds are having a very good impact on our temperatures, and that's a good portion as to why we're seeing some very warm weather out there. Temperatures upwards of the lower 50s. Keep in mind that normal highs for this time of the year should be in the upper 40s, and we are way above that for today. Some temperatures today over 60 degrees in the Mid-South. So we're going to be seeing, again, the potential for some cooler weather out there briefly, but not any winter weather uh, anytime soon for the point in time for what we're looking at toward about uh, the end of the week for right now. Cindy Mosier is Australia having rain. There is a slight potential of some showers in the southeastern part of the country around Adelaide and west of Sydney. But as of right now, uh, looking a little iffy at that point. Again, what they need is a big deluge, and they just got into summertime, so doubt we're going to be seeing too much of anything else at this point that's going to help with the fire season out there, and they need a lot of rainfall to battle that. Brittany Wilbanks, when is severe weather season over? The prime season for severe weather begins right now in January and goes roughly until about, say, early April, somewhere in there. So we've got several months where we could see some pretty nasty storms coming on through. This is the prime time of the year for this area of the country, again, in the Mid-South. So we'll be watching that again for the next several days and weeks. So now, when nothing is happening, is the time to get ready for any severe weather out there. Through the evening hours and into very early tomorrow morning, some low temperatures, especially north of Memphis, will be reaching their way into the lower 30s, but that should be against some rare conditions out there for right now. Uh, metro area, the rest of the Mid-South, upper 30s to around lower 40s or so. Betty Levingston, 47 degrees in Senatobia, Mississippi. Thanks for checking on in for tonight. And everybody else, again, if you're just tuning in, make sure you drop your location. And if you've got any weather reports out there, we'd love to be able to uh, read those off as we go throughout the rest of the evening. Josephine Hines from Red Banks, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us there. And Chicago, Victoria Gerald Thomas, welcome from the Windy City. I'm assuming that's Chicago, Illinois, and not one of the other ones around there. Cynthia Baldwin, when will we get some snow? Not anytime soon, according to this forecast from what it looks like. Upper 30s to lower 40s, about the time the kids are in school tomorrow morning. Lunchtime temperatures and early into tomorrow afternoon. Winds turn back around out of the south for just a bit, and that's going to bring some cloud cover into the area. So we'll start off mostly sunny and then go towards some more cloud cover, but I really doubt we're going to see much of anything out there in the way of any precipitation. Now, the computer starts putting some showers into the forecast here. If anything shows up around Oxford or Batesville, Water Valley, Bruce, I would really doubt that we're going to be seeing much of anything in the way of accumulation. So doubt that we're going to be seeing much of anything there. And with these temperatures, not even close to anything involving winter weather uh, into and around the area. Patricia Hanks, is winter weather over? No, as a matter of fact, we just started winter a couple of weeks ago, so we've got the entire winter season to go through to see what we've got coming our way. Speaking of which, into the end of the week, and toward about this coming Friday and Saturday, more chances of rain, heavy rain at that. Could be again some flash flooding out there. Remember, we finished up just we just finished up the fourth rainiest season in Memphis history. So again, what we're seeing for right now is that ground already saturated, which means that that rain can't soak its way into the soil. It just runs right off and collects into the 
low-lying areas, ditches, streams, rivers, culverts, things like that. So with more rainfall on the way and plenty of it, as a matter of fact, three to five inches, a conservative estimate for right now, this could lead to flash flooding by the end of the week, not to mention with gusty, maybe damaging thunderstorm winds, we could be looking at the possibility of some wind damage out there. So later this week, prepare for very heavy rainfall. And as we go into and around the area of Friday afternoon and evening, there are signs of some severe potential heading into the Mid-South area late Friday and going into around early Saturday. Now it's, again, several days away in the forecast, so we have a generic idea that there might be some severe weather. We do not have the moderate, slight, marginal type forecasts from the Storm Prediction Center. Those will come in the next several days. And once we have an idea as to what may be happening, we will let you know about that. But a couple of things to get prepared for as we get into the course of the next several days here for right now. Brittany Wilbanks, will we ever see cold weather and stay cold for a while? Again, we just started winter, so it is possible, but again, not seeing anything major league likely at this time, at least anytime soon at this point. Temperatures again tomorrow and over the next extended period forecast all the way through next weekend, maybe a few cool downs, but really not much more than that. So any signs of any really good chances of winter weather are just not being seen out there for right now. We're going to start off Monday mostly sunny, but with that storm system that's going to pass down to our south, we have no chance of rainfall. Again, maybe some sprinkles down around Oxford, Batesville, Clarksdale, and that area. But beyond that, really not much of anything for the area. So clouds, yes. Rain, not really from what we can see right now. Lower 50s as we go into and around Tuesday. And again, that's where we start to see some clearer air behind that next system. So we'll clear skies out by just a little bit and pretty close to normal on temperatures out there as well. Wednesday, it'll be brisk in the morning with temperatures again going back into and around the area of early Wednesday morning. Again, that's where we'll see the chilliest temperatures for later on this week. And then temperatures pretty mild into Wednesday. That'll be the last day of dry weather for a while across much of the Mid-South area. As we get to Thursday, chances of rain develop and continue right on into the weekend. Check out the high temperatures here on Friday, nearing 70 degrees. So we've got a very mild end of the week coming up. And temperatures drop off a little bit into this next weekend as we clear the rainfall out by Sunday morning. But between Thursday night and Sunday morning, we could be picking up three, four, five inches of rainfall, maybe even more than that if things continue to change the way that they're looking for right now. So again, this is a situation that we really need to stay on top of. So keep it tuned to the weather experts. And of course, we'll let you know about what we're going to be looking for coming up here in the next couple of days. Extended forecast beyond that, again, cooling off by a little bit briefly for Sunday and Monday next, but that's going to be about it. Temperatures back into the mid-60s with another chance of rain by next Wednesday or so, but slim chances of that, so hopefully we'll get a chance to kind of dry out by just a little bit across much of the Mid-South, which is what we could use at this point after such a rainy finish to 2019, so that would be kind of nice there. Smoke again across areas of southern Australia making its way out into the southern Pacific. Ash fall reported around the New Zealand islands and anywhere east of Australia picking up a lot of this activity. The forecast at this time is going to show the thickest amounts of smoke traveling its way across the southern Pacific and aiming for, again, around the area of South America down toward Tierra del Fuego, the Roaring Forties, into parts of the Andes. So we will see a lot of that smoke staying down this direction. But ultimately, this smoke is going to spread out throughout the rest of the atmosphere. Now, we're not getting too much of anything right now. We are way up here. And again, we're not seeing anything in the way of major problems out across the area with just, again, some areas of haze and pollution. But this smoke, eventually, this is what you get when you live in a terrarium in space. Your air, again, has to be cleaned up by the rainforests and the oceans, and this is going to take some time to dissipate. So we may see some of this smoke heading our direction over the next several weeks, but it is not a direct threat to the Mid-South area. But again, that depends worldwide. This could be, affect some temperatures 
and maybe even some weather forecast, depending on how thick this smoke is and how long it decides to stick around. A lot of scientists are looking at this. So again, we'll keep you updated on what we may be looking for from these fires. And again, hopefully some rainfall in parts of Australia soon because it was a catastrophic weekend for a lot of people down under. We'll have more on that coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. James Gulledge, thank you very much for some of the fauna in and around Humboldt, Tennessee around New Year's. Nice to see a little bit of sunshine out there for the birds and who not. And again, Bob Nassel, a nice view from Rosemark tonight as the sunset started to fade. Good snapshot there. And if you've got pictures out there you'd like to share, send them along to me. Austin Onik, WREG on Facebook. A Onik underscore WREG3. No, I did not pick the handle of the title that was done for me, so there's not much I can do about that. A little clunky, but you'll get there eventually. And Aonic, W-R-A-G-3, no underscore necessary on Instagram. And, of course, you can find me on social media pages all over the place. So just look for me. I'm more than likely out there someplace. If you'd like to get more information about a new telescope, maybe you haven't bought one or got one as a gift for the holiday season, maybe you're planning on picking one up and you would like to ask the experts something that, again, you would like to know. Price, compatibility, portability, anything like that. This coming Friday at Christian Brothers University in Central Memphis at Assisi Science Hall, room 155, if I'm not mistaken, in the auditorium, the Memphis Astronomical Society will hold their annual how-to te telescope seminar to help you set up your new telescope, how to operate it, or ask questions about what to buy later on if you're giving a gift or getting one for yourself. Again, a good opportunity to learn more. That'll be this Friday, the 10th, at 8 p.m., I would love to be there, but unfortunately, again, i got to be at work a few hours after that for the morning shift on Saturday. If you'd like to know more, they're on Facebook. They're also on Twitter at Society underscore Memphis, or you can go to their website and find out more about all of this at memphisastro.org. And again, this will be this Friday the 10th. 8 p.m., Christian Brothers University. Great opportunity to ask questions and find out more about the technology of astronomy. Really cool to take a look at that and really cool to get your kids involved in stuff like that. So, again, something to consider there for right now for the time being. Uh, Denise McGowan, can you include the pollen count? Uh, good idea. We should start doing that. I'll see if I can uh, start including that at some point in time. That's a very good suggestion. Thank you very much for that one. Uh, welcome to everybody else for checking in for tonight across the Mid-South area. Again, through tomorrow morning, metro area temperatures dropping into the mid-30s. North of Memphis and Shelby County might see a few lower 30s, but that's going to be about it. Again, some patchy frost. Not nearly as widespread as what we saw this morning, but still possible. Remember, scrape the entire windshield, the entire car clean. That whole periscope driving thing is just not a very good idea. Not safe for you or anybody else. Warming up later on, but it's going to take the bulk of the rest of the day to get all that taken care of. So some fairly mild temperatures all the way around. Again, don't forget to check out our forecast available at WREG.com slash weather at any time, day or night. The News Channel 3 weather experts updating it several times a day so you can be informed as to what's going on. And again, don't forget to download our News Channel 3 weather app as well. We'd love to have that for you as well. Is it going to be much rain around Red Banks or South Haven? Uh, from Bebay Hines, a uh, good possibility, yes, several inches worth later on uh, this week. Nancy Bogle brings spring. I think spring has already sprung from what it feels like, but we've got a lot of winter weather to go through, so we've got a long way to go before we finish up one season and head into the actual astronomical spring, but that's, again, not happening for right now. We'll have a check of the forecast. We will be on time tonight, so join us again at News Channel 3 at 10 at 10 o'clock, not the late edition, uh, no football tonight to push us back on time, so you can check us out at 10 o'clock. And, of course, don't forget you can join us again on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Todd Demers will have your forecast starting at 4.30 Monday morning. Corey Ventura will have traffic. Kids back to school tomorrow. A lot of places getting back into the 
uh, spring semester. So watch those crosswalks. Watch again uh, the bike riders and the students around the schools and in the neighborhoods. So let's all make certain we're keeping an extra eye open for those students and the teachers out there. Good luck back in the classroom and thank you for doing everything you do. And of course, let's all be careful on the roadways. And Corey will help you update it on that as we go into tomorrow morning. I'll have more again at wrag.com slash weather. Questions, concerns, ideas, let me know at austin.onic at wreg.com. Email me your pictures or drop them to me again on my social media pages. And would love to have all your pictures out there so we can share them with everybody. But we can't do that unless you send them in so you kind of see the problem I'm working with here on that. Stick around for more on News Channel 3 at 10, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, USA. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Stick around for a lot more throughout the rest of the week as our next storm systems head our direction. Thanks for joining us.